ALS Ice Bucket Challenge is going viral. The latest celebrity to meet up the challenge was soccer player Cristiano Ronaldo, who joined others like Bill Gates and Justin Bieber, among many others. But now the challenge was taken in our very own city of Fort Gables. Responding to a challenge called by Don Marino, Doctors Hospital CEO Nelson Lasso and his team took up the challenge of pouring a five-gallon ice water bucket on themselves for a good cause. Hello, I'm Nelson Lasso, CEO of Doctors Hospital, and I am here with my executive team to accept the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge from the Miami Dolphins and have made a donation to the ALS Association. At this time, I also would like to challenge some of my friends and colleagues. I'd like to challenge Pete Garcia, Athletic Director for Florida International University. I'd also like to challenge Mark Tobridge, President and CEO of the Coral Gables Chamber of Commerce. Bring it on! Well, you know, the Miami Dolphins called us out and challenged us, and you know, they're, they're one of our biggest partners. We, you know, we take care of the heat, and we do a lot of things together for the community, and uh, I couldn't say no, and you know, it's a great opportunity to rally all the folks around, as you can see how many people we have out here. It's a big community thing, and it's a big thing for our hospital and our facility, so it's a lot of fun. We're going to accept the ALS challenge. Um, what also I'd like to do before we take the challenge is to also call out some other hospitals to take the challenge with their executive team. So South Miami Hospital, take the challenge. West Kendall Hospital, take the challenge. Baptist Hospital, take the challenge. Can you do it? Let's see, you've got 24 hours to take this challenge. All right, here we go. In the last two weeks, the Ice Bucket Challenge has quite soaked up the nation. Assisted by social media, the participants pour buckets of ice water over their heads while challenging others to do the same or to make a donation to fight ALS. Between July 29 and today, the association that fights ALS has received an astonishing $4 million in donation. I feel great. I feel very refreshed. I think it's a great opportunity to not only get refreshed, but also to uh, put our feet forward for a great cause. It's a very severe disease, which when you get it, it, it has long lasting effects. So I think it's important that we look at some of these disease processes that are not in the media all the time, but that deserve the same recognition as some of those that are a little bit more popular when it comes to their ability to raise money. And now the challenge is on Mark Trowbridge, president and CEO of the Corey Gables Chamber of Commerce. Will he accept? Well, that's something we're all yet to see. Reporting for What's Happening in Corey Gables, Diana Herrera.